Okay, can you tell me what's the best part of this seminar here in Colombia? So the best part for me is the fact that more than 500 people signed up for it. Um, I give speeches in Boston where I don't get you know, an order of magnitude lower than that. So I think the fact that there are 500 people who care enough about this to, to come and spend two days paying attention to it is, is just fantastic. And what was your subject? What did you talk about? I talked about uh, the way that knowledge moves around in the sciences and the way that knowledge gets used in the sciences um, with primarily a focus on the, the way that the systems we've brought forward from pre-internet days are actually uh, actively preventing the internet from, from transforming science the way it's transformed culture. Because you want to talk about knowledge, don't you? Yes. Yes. What is it about knowledge? Where do you want knowledge? So um, it's sort of hard to define knowledge yes. in any sort of clear way, but it's definitely more than computers that are connected or documents that are connected. So it's more than the internet or the web. Um, but it's also clear that as we get better at digitizing things, we can digitize some of the pieces of knowledge. So things like data are precursors of knowledge. Things like journal articles are sort of distilled pieces of knowledge. Um, ontologies, wikis, annotations, these are all pieces of knowledge. And at some point, they've got to start coming together into a network, and ideally we'll get the same sorts of value explosions out of knowledge that we've gotten out of documents and computers. But the law is getting in the way, and traditions are getting in the way. So probably you're thinking about general public, everybody having access to knowledge, not just a few? To, I think for most of it, the default position has to be that everyone gets it. If you solve the problem only for the scientists, you don't get the benefit of the web. One of the beautiful parts of the web is that you, know, you don't have to be an author to be an author. You don't have to be a professional photographer to be a photographer. Um, you don't have to be a programmer to use applications on Facebook. We need to get science to that level. And so if we think about solving problems for elite scientists, then we're not going to get the benefits that we want. Um, now, just like the web doesn't, it isn't all public, there are private spaces on the web. There are going to need to be private knowledge spaces for privacy reasons for protection of indigenous people's rights reasons, for lots of reasons. But we need to make our default position that everything's public. And then we need to make it easy to get out of that default position when there's a compelling reason. Thank you.